Robert Bob Anderson of Rockwell, Texas is well known as the historian for sheep hunters. His interest many years ago has saved a lot of sheep hunting history that probably would otherwise have been lost. He has chronicled much of the history that he collected over the years in five books. His first was Great Rams and Great Ram Hunters, which was predominantly about North American sheep hunting. Next came Wind, Dust and Snow, which got into international hunting. And then he wrote the biography Jack O'Connor from his own unique perspective. Next came Bob's book, Great Rams 2, and due to be published and ready any day now is Great Rams 3. Bob has also written several freelance articles, and one published in Sports Afield in 2005 was titled 700 Club. In that article, he made the statement that this was the most exclusive group of big game hunters in the world. At the time, Bob was really the only person informally keeping up with those who had taken a doll, stone, bighorn, and desert with a combined record book score of 700 or more. Well, shortly after that article, Bob and Grand Slam Club Ovis teamed up and GSCO took over the formal documentation of the 700 Club accomplishment according to the highest score, whether it be SCI, Boone and Crockett, or Pope and Young scores. Today, GSCO has recorded well over 30 individuals who have documented in the record books or with GSCO the four Rams with 700 inches or more. GSCO has been able to recognize the majority of these members at our past conventions. Well, tonight, we have the pleasure of recognizing more people than we have in several years. Let's face it, this is not an accomplishment that happens very often. It should be fun, so let's get right into it. As each honoree is introduced, please hold your applause until the end of the ceremony. When your name is called, please begin making your way to the stage. Douglas J. Leach of West Virginia has several record book sheep. As a matter of fact, he was recognized last night for having taken six Grand Slams. For this honor, we of course want to take a look at the biggest one in each of the four categories. As for the doll, Doug's largest one was taken in Alaska's Chagach Range in September 2011. That great ram scored 171 and 5 eighths SCI. His stone is actually a Fannin, taken in NWT in 2011. It has a tremendous score of 175 and 6 eighths SCI. Moving along to the Bighorn, his largest one is an Alberta Ram taken on the 2011 Minister's Permit near the famous Cataman Mine area. It has a score of 185 and 5 8 SCI. And finally, his desert from Tiburon Island scores a whopping 186 and 6 8 SCI and was taken in January 2010. Again, Doug has other record book Rams, but this group of four constitutes his 700 club slam with a combined score of 719 and 6 eighths SCI points. We now come to John Blackwell of Texas. John isn't with us tonight as his health wouldn't permit him to travel very far from his home. He's asked his friend Bob Anderson to relay his regret of not being able to be here and to accept his award along with his 700 club pin. John's Rams are clearly documented in the Boone and Crockett record book. The most recent issue of the BNC book has the growth scores, which would translate to the SCI scoring method. John's doll has a score of 181 and 4 eighths. His stone is 174 and 6 eighths. His bighorn is 186 and 2 eighths. And finally, his desert is 171 and 3 eighths. The only two photos we have for John are of his Alberta bighorn from 1967 and his Baja Mexico desert sheep from 1966. You see John with two big rams in front of him and it's the ram on the right that belongs to him. Please enjoy the desert sheep photo as well. John Slam has a combined score of 713 and 78 B and C gross. We now move to Michael J. Carpenito Jr. of Washington. Michael has a 700 club score of 712 and 6 eighths. The NWT doll that he took in August 2012 ended up with an SCI score of 166 and 18. It's a beauty as you see here. As for Michael Stone, it was taken in BC in September 2009 and scores 160 and 78 SCI. It's a beauty as well. His big orange scores 191 38 SCI was taken in April 2010 on the Taos Reservation in New Mexico. Finally, his 2011 Desert Sheep was taken in Arizona and has an amazing SCI score of 194 and 38. 
Michael won our top diamond award for this desert ram at our Thursday night trophy award ceremony. Rick Warren of Texas not only has a 700 club grand slam, but took that slam in less than one year. He began with a Rocky Mountain Bighorn from the Taos Reservation in New Mexico on November 30, 2011. That ram scores 187 and 4 8 SCI. The next ram for Rick was a desert from his home state of Texas on April 8, 2012. It scores 179 and 4 8 SCI. Then came his Yukon Doll Ram on July 23, 2012, which scores 161 and 5 8 SCI. So now the stage was set and all Rick had to do was to get that final stone ram. If you're a pretty good mathematician, you'll see the pressure was really on Rick if he planned to make the 700 club. He had to get an outstanding ram of 171 and 3 8 and wow, did Rick score big. On August 2, 2012, he got an astounding stone sheep that scores 179 and 4 8 SCI. He was hunting in northeastern British Columbia, and that ram gave him a total SCI score of 708 and 1 8. So there you have a 700 club grand slam taken in less than one year. Sudi Galabshi of Georgia has a combined 700 club score of 705 and 78 SCI. His doll sheep was taken in Alaska in 2004 and has a score of 171 and 38 SCI. His stone sheep came from the Yukon in 1992 and scores 173 and 58 SCI. Sudi took a great Rocky Mountain Bighorn in New Mexico in 1992 and that ram scores 186 and 18 SCI. Sudi's largest desert came from California and was taken in September 1990. That excellent ram has a score of 174 and 58 SCI. And it's a great pleasure to honor Sudi tonight. Our next inductee for the 700 Club is unique. Jim Hens of New York is the first person to ever take an archery grand slam with a score of over 700 points. At last year's event, we introduced the 650 Archery Club and honored George Harms and Archie Nesbitt for their Archery Grand Slams of over 650 points. George actually has a 700 Club Grand Slam, but it contains both archery and rifle taken trophies. Therefore, we now want to recognize Jim for the first 700 Club Archery Grand Slam and also recognize him as a member of the 650 Archery Club as well. Bob will attempt to get both pins attached to Jim's lapel. Now to Jim's four amazing rams. We we'll first show you Jim's doll sheep from 2003, which has a gross Pope and Young score of 149 and 4 8. We want to go out of order somewhat and show you his 2007 desert sheep that has a Pope and Young gross score of 179. We now want to talk about Jim's 2011 stone sheep, and this ram is one of the most phenomenal stone sheep ever taken, and is definitely the world record Pope and Young stone, as well as being the largest archery taken stone in the SCI record book. It has an SCI score of 180 and 68 and won the top diamond award at our Thursday Night Trophy Awards. You'll be hearing more about that ram later this evening. And finally, we come to Jim's 2012 Rocky Mountain Bighorn from Montana. We had to wait around to get the final dry Pope and Young gross score, but that amazing ram came in at a whopping 204 eights points. It's a great honor to be able to recognize Jim as the first person ever to break the 700 mark using his archery equipment. The total score for the 700 Club Slam is 709 and 68. Now, give all of these inductees into the 700 Club a big round of applause. <laughs>